I'm here with Dr. Romano to do another problem on circles. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dat Destroyer book. I'm here today working on more math DAT questions with Professor Blois. Professor Blois was actually my teacher in college, and I hope you enjoy these as much as I did when I was a student. All right, Professor, okay. thank you very much. Yes, let's go look at this problem here. Find the center and the radius of a circle whose diameter coincides with the line segment joining 5, negative 6, and negative 3, negative 10. Well, you have to approach this problem visually and realize that where is the center of the circle is going to be located halfway between the endpoints of the diameter. So what we need to do is apply the midpoint formula to these two endpoints. The midpoint formula for two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, is simply the average of each of the coordinates, x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. And for the two points in question, we have 5 plus negative 3 over 2 for the x-coordinate, and negative 6 plus a negative 10 over 2 for the y-coordinate, and that will simplify to 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1, negative 6, negative 10 is negative 16, negative 16 over 2 is negative 8, so there we have, that's where the center of the circle is, that's the center of the circle, 1, negative 8. Okay, now, what is the radius of this circle? Well, we know that this, these are the endpoints of the diameter. We know the diameter is twice the radius. So we have to find out what is the distance between these two endpoints. What is that distance will give us the diameter? Okay, we use the distance formula, which comes out of the Pythagorean theorem. Distance is equal to the square root of the two points x1, y1, x2, y2, the difference in the x-coordinate squared plus the difference in the y-coordinate squared. So the diameter of this circle is going to be, the diameter is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1, which is negative 3, negative 5 squared, plus y2 minus y1, which is negative 10, negative, and negative 6 squared. So what's that, what's that going to give us? Negative 8 squared plus uh, negative 10, negative, negative 6. That's going to be negative 4 squared. And that's going to give us 64 plus 16, which is going to give us 80. So I know the diameter is the square root of 80, which if I want to simplify that, I know that 80 is 16 times 5. So this is 16 times 5, which is equal to the square root of 16 is 4. It's 4 square root of 5. Now that's the diameter. The problem asks for the radius. The radius is simply going to be the diameter divided by 2, or 4 square root of 5 divided by 2, and that's 2 square root of 5. So there we have it. We have the center and the radius from the given coordinates of the endpoints of the diameter. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Blois. They were solid questions. Um, so you feel these are standard questions for the DAT? Oh, yeah. Say. Should know the distance formula and the midpoint formula? Yes, definitely. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy these. We'll be back in a few days. Professor Blois will be here again, and we'll be doing some more problems. Hit us up on the Facebook study group if you like these questions and you want to see some special topics, let us know. Okay, bye-bye.